This is the new Apple TV. It's the first TV streaming box from Apple for a few years now, and it's quite different from the previous box. Actually, it looks quite similar. It's a bit taller, but the same small black box design. Now you can hide it away because the remote doesn't need line of sight to communicate with it. It has, as before, iTunes, so you can stream movies and TV programs which you can rent or buy. Uh, additionally, it has apps, and that's the big new thing with this box. Uh, Tim Cook, Apple CEO, says that apps are the future of TV, and now you'll be able to play games or book Airbnb. There are going to be thousands of apps, hundreds of which will be available from the day that the Apple TV box goes on sale. This is the new remote for Apple TV. The previous model had a donut shaped direction pad. This has a touch pad, which you can use to guide yourself from one app to the next, or it's useful for playing games. Uh, and it also has Siri. So you press and hold the microphone button and ask it to find a film by Pedro Almodovar or whatever you want. Find episodes of Friends starring Brad Pitt. The games that you can download are sort of like beefed up iPad games rather than the kind of big title you'll get from a dedicated games console like a PlayStation. Uh, but they're great fun. There's a two player version of Crossy Road, there's Jetpack Joyride, all those are great fun to play and you can store them on the console this time because there's either 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes of storage built in. If you have a Skybox or you have uh, an Xbox that you play games on, then this will do some of those things. But it also has access to all those movies and TV shows that you might not find on Sky. What this box doesn't do is connect you to broadcast television. You still need an aerial or a satellite dish or cable for that. Overall, this is a very slick console that is tiny enough to hide away in the smallest room and works extremely well.